Love and Hip Hop ATL. The main parts, number one. Lazane is on the show. Don't know why Lazane around his <laughs> the show. I I What's confusion. He looks like I, an adult Bow Wow to me. He does. Um, I think he looks I, like a little Nick Cannon. <laughs> that can work too. I see both. I can see both. That's I can. a good one. Now, mm-hmm. I have a question. I'm, did you see it, Nisi? Yeah, I saw it. How do y'all feel about, number one, he's cheating. That's separate. But what are y'all thoughts about this woman wanting him to test that baby? And if the child is not his, to snatch the name from the child? I think that she has a uh, misplaced anger. Mm. Because like she. All, yeah, because to me, if he, the, the, what Lil Zane said is, it's not the baby fault. All of the baby know is that that's their name. To me, that's a lot of empathy for a child that you said is not yours. And I know how you niggas get down. Y'all don't have no empathy for these kids. That's your kid. That's why yeah. you don't want to get the DNA test. And I bet you ain't made a right. girl you had the baby with know for sure that that's your kid. Yeah, mm-hmm. I could say that. Yeah, I agree. Um, he's confident. Yeah, I was thinking that um, one. I think he should get the test. He does need to know. But to snatch a baby's name from them because you don't want them to have any, that's, that's, you taking it a little too far. Um, Jasmine and Kirk, everything Jasmine sat on that bench and told Kirk he did. He did. He did, he did that shit. <laughs> he did. He did that shit. You can tell by his response. <laughs> his, yes. It sounded so ignorant. It didn't make no sense. And then you messed up my life. I don't know if he, you, you messed my whole life up. It's like, no, baby, you did that. She was no. wearing his ass out. I'm here for Jasmine. It was an insinuation that she was about to be a prostitute for Mama D that took me Ooh, to Oh, yeah. When he said I, that, I must have that, you know, Mama D said. used to pimp girls or something like that. She was so a madam. Do you know her? Oh, oh, okay. I got it. Yeah. I like remember. whatever pussy she was selling, you was buying it. So what difference did it make? Talk about it. I knew he did that shit when Rashida came to him and said something about it. He had this look on his face like, what? Like, like <laughs> he had to evoke like anger. Yeah. It wasn't like he was truly upset. It wasn't that he was confusion. He just knew in that moment, I have to show that I'm upset, that this is mm-hmm. absurd. The way he put that chapstick on while she was talking, Holler. you could tell. I saw that in the comments, and I was like, "Yes, I noticed that." The little, the fidgeting, all of that, everything she said, he did that shit. Man, the way he said to Rashida, "Oh, was she opening up the door naked?" Before you even confirm or deny if what Jasmine is saying is true, you come into Rashida like, "Oh, well, she's doing this." Mm-hmm. Rashida, here go your clown mask. Please give it to her. Um, it was something. Oh, I felt like Rashida should have went to Jasmine first before she even came to Kurt so she could have the evidence to show this. I said, y'all keep playing in our faces. She don't want the evidence. To me, it was her talking on in the confessional, talking about how she was trying to pretend like she wasn't mad, but she was really mad. <laughs> I was just like, why? That was funny. Like, why, why are you trying to pretend? Erica's madder than you are right now. Why are exactly. you trying to pretend? That's crazy. your home, girl, and you can't even act like you. That's how you know she ain't never leaving. Because even when Erica peeped the shit, you can't even react the way you want to react. You are so busy putting up a front in front of everybody that you can't. Yeah, she's not leaving. She was like, he ain't getting another chance. Girl, Bye. Girl, he got infinite. <laughs> That's what I'm okay. saying. That he succeeded. Right over there. Okay, he's not going anywhere. Right. What, what else can he do? Like, have another kid? Oh, we've been through it already. <laughs> oh, embarrassing. A mess. Um, speaking of having another another kid, that's what Kendra wants. And it Ooh. seems like that's what Jock wants, too. But Kendra wants to freeze hers until years down the road. Jock is like, B.I.T., I'm not going to be 50 with no kid. So we need to go ahead have this kid now. I get yes, both sides. Are. Yes, you are, Jock. The baby that you have now is what, maybe one or two? That baby still ain't going to be no more than 10 years old by the time you get to 50, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm. Jamie, yeah, let me hear. Because I that was my honestly my favorite part of the episode. Because I do get both sides. So I want to, what you think? I feel like he's right. Like, at, like he had all these kids. I do feel like the last one, forgive me, I do feel like that baby was a mistake. It wasn't like he, I mean, you know, I don't think he really was trying to have it, but he did. 
And I just feel like at 50, I don't think he's going to want to have a newborn getting up, doing this, doing that. At least a 10 year old can kind of like do a few things on their own. So I understand him like, let's have it now. But her, I get it. I get what she's saying. Like, let's wait, because it sounds like to me, she don't even know if the relationship is going to survive. But then it's like with you knowing this, why did you marry him? You never, I figured she was going to change her mind. She didn't want no kids at first and now she want them. I figured she would change her mind. But it, the conversation, the argument escalated from him not wanting her to freeze her eggs and having the baby now to her being upset saying, if you don't want me, then let a man Please. that's supposed to have me come find me. And I was confused. And so I'm like, girl, you really don't want to be here. Why are you holding on to him? What, what, what um, are you winning? What prize are you winning? She don't want to be uncomfortable. It must be a dingling of gold. That's, what That's the only thing like. I can think of. But you know what? She likes this, y'all. Like, Kendra is your, I went to school, I'm smart. But I love me a toxic relationship, stupid bitch. Like, that, that's who she is. So yeah. she loves opportunities to scream to the top of her lungs and Jocelyn's face about how you need to just let me go if you're not going to give me what I want. Yeah, yeah, all of that. She like all of the theatrics. And I think he likes, he likes the fact that she get mad like that. He likes that she's all passionate and responding to him like that. This is mm -hmm. a yeah, you can see cycle for the both of them. Mm -hmm. They're they going to fuck later on after that. So yeah, yeah, no, I'm I, I'm looking at her like, girl, you stupid. If you really want to freeze your eggs, just do it. Fuck you asking right. for permission for it. It's That's your what age. I was thinking too. Go do it. And then, okay. but then she asked him, and then ultimately was like, you know what? Fuck, I freeze my eggs, and that suggests what you're gonna have to know. But Jamie, the way that I was hearing the conversation, or at least from the clips that I saw, yeah, it didn't sound like Jock to me was saying, let's have a baby now. It sounded mm -hmm. to me like Jock was saying, you didn't want to have kids with me before. Now I'm over it. I definitely don't want to have no kids now. So we not having kids at all. And I don't want you to freeze your eggs. That's the way I understood it. And that's and it, okay. So that's he felt <laughs> you said what? That's audacious of him. Well, I I it is. He shouldn't be able to tell her what to do with her eggs, but he he's trying to get back at her. He's trying to hold it over her head. So he's trying to use it like oh, we're going to be together, so don't freeze your eggs to try to get over on her, even though he knows that she has doubt in her mind. So he's kind of like, oh, well, if you didn't want to have kids with me X amount of years ago, you ain't never going to have kids. So ha ha, how about that? Mm. So I kind of, the only part I understand is him feeling bad that she didn't want to have kids with him. I'm sure it probably did fuck him up a little bit, but be for real, you got 10 fucking kids, nine kids, be for yeah. real. On the other side of things, girl, go freeze your eggs. You don't even have to tell him that you've frozen your eggs. And they can be nice in the freezer for the next man. So um, it was cute of her to try to have the conversation. But I definitely think he was doing that out of spite. Mm, I, I'm going to go back and watch it to see if I get the same thing. Because I felt like that's what she was saying. But that's not what I was hearing him say. So I could I'm going to go back and, and check it out and see. But um. Yeah, I don't really see them lasting, but I just think it's that that's I think that's a big difference. I do. Now that she wants kids, he don't want them. If that is the case, I don't see it lasting. But either way, mm -mm. Um, go freeze them, girl. I hope they frozen. Good luck. Okay.